too. Hey everybody, it's Shamika. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I appreciate your support. So I had to come to you guys this evening. It's a Friday. Your girl been drinking, but I got some good info. So this is for all of you guys that pay your bills through money order check in a drop box. So I just saw this live. Normally I would do this on my true story crime, but I'm gonna do it here because y'all getting caught out there because people greedy, okay? So here's what is going on. Individuals are watching when you put your payment in a drop box, a mail slot, whatever that is in your area. If you do not make sure that check or that money order is pushed way down in there, did you know that an individual can take a mouse trap? Did y'all hear me say a mouse trap? I said a mouse trap. Not the kind that snaps like this, but the good sticky kind. And if you're from the hood and grew up in the hood, y'all know what mouse trap I'm talking about because this mouse trap not only gets mouses, it gets mouses, rats, roaches, any and everything, ants, lint, you name it, food, the whole nine. It's a sticky glue trap. They put a piece of string on this glue trap and they stick it in that same drop slot that you are putting your mail. And guess what is happening? They are fishing your money order or your check right out. Now, the reason I'm bringing this to you is not just because they're stealing your information, but it's because you guys have probably never heard of check washing. And if you haven't, let me give you a little info on what check washing is check washing oh did y'all was checking me out of my dress let me show y'all real quick okay i just had to say shout out to rainbow i am out having a good evening but anyway let me get back to check washing but the sister had to toot to her horn real quick so check washing is simply this an individual would take a piece of um your check your a q-tip and a peroxide and what they would do with that peroxide is they would take that peroxide on that q-tip and they would white 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 who you put who you wrote that check out to believe it or not the chemicals in that peroxide and on that check paper over time after white 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 it releases the ink and the ink wipes out and after it dries you will be able to rewrite over that check and now you can make that check out to whomever the hell you want to and that is exactly what check washing is and now let me get this what makes check washing so extra good is because if your check says let's give an example bank of america a bank of america routing number is I'll give one in Florida, 0631-00277. Now, if that says that on the bottom of your check and you go and you deposit that in a Bank of America um, bank account, that check that you just washed, guess what Bank of America is going to do? They're going to automatically approve that check amount. Why? Because it's on their check and their account and you deposit it in their bank account. The routing numbers have to match in order for this check washing game to work. So they're going to cash that check. And what Bank of America is going to do, they're going to give them a certain portion of that amount of check available as cash right now. So when you see an individual going to an ATM machine and they're checking to see if an amount is available, they're doing that because they are probably check washing, taking an amount out and holding on to that money. They don't care if the, if the check is cash. Why? Because they know it's not gonna press because the check was never written out to them in the first place. It was written out to who they were originally writing it out to. So if you are an individual that's asked to open a bank account or you're asked to, you're asked to cash in the check through your account, if that check is not written out to you, or if you know this person is shady, please don't fall into it because what can happen is you can block yourself from ever having a checking account, bank account, period, until you clean yourself up and earn one system, channel a check and check system. I know because I deal with people all the time who fail for the prank or the fraud and now you stuck. So do not agree to do anything for anybody if it's not written out to you from somebody that you know written out to you okay so if you are a consumer and this happens to you let me tell you what you need to do okay because fraudsters and schemers are never going to go anywhere and they're going to always come after you guys because you're slipping you're not staying on your game if you write a check 
you notice that it's getting cash and it was not cash to who you wrote it to, you need to immediately call the bank to see if it's possible that you can put a stop payment. If they will not allow you to put a stop payment. Now, let me let you guys know, if you do a stop payment, they are going to charge you for a stop payment. That is a fee because that is a service the bank has to provide to you. So what you need to do if they will not... <clears throat> Or return that payment you need to call the police department make a police report okay let me tell y'all the police report is gold you can use it for anything make that police report get that information let them know then you take it to your bank your bank will more than likely give you a refund for the money then so that you can pay your rent why because your land lady your uh, uh leasing office they're not trying to hear that somebody stole it although it's partially their fault too so if you notice that somebody is fishing that information out or going and you're putting and paying your bills through a checkbox y'all need to make sure because look, let me tell you i put my water bill through a checkbox but now after seeing this i need to make sure it's all the way pushed down so nobody can go and fish out my information because check washing is just that easy so I'm not gonna keep you guys too long I just wanted to let you guys know that that is the newest one of the biggest newest and it's actually pretty fucking genius crime that is going on but I want to make sure that you guys don't get caught up in that so again since there is no certain ink that you can use that's going to prevent the, the ink from being lifted from the paper make sure you pay online through a money order through a cashier's check pay in front of someone where they can actually receive that check or if you have to do it through a mail slot make sure you push it all the way down so that they can't get it and for you criminals and frosters this is for entertainment and educational purposes only if you choose to check wash and or fish a check out the mail slot that is on you not on me but anyway guys y'all have a good evening i am just buzzing off this wonderful friday evening and had to bring you guys some new information to let y'all know what is going on so please like subscribe and share my videos and i will talk to you soon and let me know really quick will you use a mail slot anymore to pay your bills or now if you're a frost or a scammer you don't have to tell me but you can let me know that if this was a smart idea or not for somebody to choose don't worry we won't go looking for you i'll talk to you guys soon bye